So your short form content is not translating to your long form content. And of course you wanna know why is that and how do you fix it? Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I wanted to talk about short form content and how it's not translating to your long form content. Now this is a topic that comes up a lot recently, definitely within the last year with the explosion of Reels, TikTok of course, and a lot of people are seeing uh, a, a lot of rise, a lot of growth with those platforms, but it's not always translating to your long form content or not translating to sales, which of course is leading a lot of people to basically down the roads, down the path of a lot of frustrations. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to fix it. And honestly, it's one of those things that I've struggled with also because I do a lot of obviously videos, which you're watching right now. And I, I do a lot of short form content, which I want to bring people over from the content to these long form videos. Now, of course, this isn't a problem for everyone. Some people have no issues with their short form content translating to sales. And on top of that, having that short form content translate into long form. It's definitely something that can be done, but it's definitely something that needs to be approached a little bit differently. And they definitely overlook why that short form content may not convert. Now, of course, the obvious answer, which isn't really that obvious to a lot of people because it's both video. You're doing short videos, you're doing long videos. So of course, why wouldn't they be the same Thing. And of course, the short answer is they're honestly two different forms of content, even though they're the exact same content. And what I mean by that, and if you go watch Reels or TikTok or anything like that, what you're going to see with the short form content is it's bite size information, or at least it used to be. Now they're starting to do five and 10 minute videos. So you're starting to see a lot more long form content on those platforms. But of course at the base and the stuff that works really well is the short form bite size content. And that is the biggest reason why it doesn't always translate to the long form content. When somebody comes to watch these videos, they're sitting down, they're preparing themselves, they wanna learn. Whatever topic it is, obviously this one being candles, but if you're jumping down, uh, like I watch a lot of tech reviews, cameras, cars, stuff like that. So when I sit down for that kind of stuff, I know that I want to spend the next 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes learning about that subject. Whereas if I'm on Reels or TikTok, even if I'm looking at that same content, I'm really there for the 30 second clips, the 60 second clips of cars doing something, some unique feature, some, some quirk or some fact that maybe I didn't know about uh, a car or a lens, microphones, anything like that. In our case, waxes, oils, anything like that. And one of the biggest reasons that you see a lot of people really rise with short form content, uh, you see creators getting 10, 20, 100,000 followers for very simple information. But then when you jump over to their Instagram profiles, their YouTube profiles, their websites or sales or anything like that, you don't see that same conversion. You might even see some creators that have half or even a quarter of the followers, subscribers or anything like that on those other platforms. And the biggest reason you're gonna see that is because Again, it's bite-sized information. You see a lot of people who just go through, they like that content, they'll subscribe to a follower. I've done it with uh, my own TikTok profile. I have a lot of people that I follow on TikTok that when their stuff pops up, their 30 second or 60 second clip is fun to watch. Uh, it's entertaining, it's information, whatever it is, but it's really not something that I want to watch 20 minutes of. And then of course, on the other side of that with sales, unless the video is really captivating, uh, it's really hit or miss if I'm really gonna buy anything based off of a 30 second TikTok. Whereas the long form content can definitely be a little bit more helpful because people, again, like I said, people are there to learn something. They're, lear they're there to see the video and actually really take it all in. And when you have a 10 minute video explaining your product, it's definitely a little bit easier to basically convert somebody or show them why that product is worth buying. Whereas if you're on TikTok and you see 30 seconds, it might look cool, but you're instantly going to go past it and go, oh, that's pretty cool. I could use that, but yeah, I'm not going to go grab it right now. And then you just move on and you're on to the next creator, on to the next TikTok, on to the next reel, which is why you definitely need to approach that content a little bit more. Uh, doing things like leads or hooks, uh, basically telling somebody or leaving somebody with basically a cliffhanger in your TikTok that makes them want to jump over and check out the product more or check out your profile 
little more. And again, that's really tough to tell people how to do that with anything outside of candles, especially for me. Uh, I can definitely tell you what to do in that regard. But again, even with candles getting it down into certain niches, there's going to be ways to do that. And it really is a trial and error thing, basically putting out as much content as you can and trying to watch which one is getting the most attention, which one is getting the most conversions from short form to the long form content. Now, again, that doesn't mean that you can't be successful with the short form and successful with the long form either or vice versa, because there are plenty of candle creators who are doing extremely well on TikTok and Instagram, and they're only doing 30 to 60 second videos. And of course, some of these creators are not worried about the long form content. They're not worried about their website because they're handling it in the short form, which is why I tell a lot of people, and I know this kind of goes against everything that uh, you see from YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, anything like that, where they tell you to make content for both, make the short reels, make the TikToks, make the long form YouTube videos, which isn't wrong, but unless you're in a position to do that, and even I struggle with that one just because I'm so busy and I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, which are sometimes easy to cut down and put into a 60 second or a YouTube short or even a, a Instagram reel. But I try to get away from these videos and actually do short form content. But for me, that adds hours of extra work per week, which I definitely don't have. So I end up defaulting to one or the other, which in this case is going to be long form video. But obviously, if you do have the time going for both or doing something, and there's a lot of different apps out there that will take this video right here and cut it up into a bunch of different short segments, they do work. But the ones I've tested don't work really well. Uh, it might give me 10 clips and one of them might work. Uh, a couple of them work OK, but if you really know candles, uh, you can see where the app kind of misses some things where it shouldn't have missed it. And it leaves out a lot of context, which is very important <laughs> depending on what the video is and what I'm trying to explain to you guys. So that's pretty much it with this one. Just some quick thoughts on the short form content going over to the long form content. Uh, I hope a lot of that made sense. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, we'll see you in the next video.